Hello everyone! I am running so late. What else is new? Nothing. It's never new. I have to go to work, but I wanted to test out a product with you all, especially because I posted a picture on my Instagram. I'm just at thrift thick if you don't follow me and you want to. Basically, I posted a picture on Instagram of a bunch of makeup samples that my mom sent me that she didn't want, so Thank you, Mom, and the overwhelming majority of you wanted me to test out the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. People want to know if this is the same as the Sephora matte lip cream stuff that I did a first impression on. I will link it down below if you have not seen it before. That stuff is phenomenal, so I'm curious to see whether this is just as phenomenal. I just have a deluxe sample from Sephora, but I'm excited to try it out nonetheless. Less, less, uh, you don't need words when you work retail anyways. Let's check Sephora to see what they say about this lip cream. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. It is $19 and it comes in 12 different shades. I personally have the shade Bachelorette, which is a dark reddish fuchsia. What it is, a long wear, full coverage liquid lipstick with a smooth matte finish. What it does, an innovative formula infused with vitamins A, C, and E for added hydration. The next generation formula gives lips long lasting wear and high pigment color with a smooth matte finish. To use, just draw lip outline with applicator tip, then fill in color in one easy swipe of rich color. Tip, try a fun two-toned lip look. <laughs> no thanks. So, that's it. I'm ready to put this on. I'm excited to take y'all with me today. Really nothing exciting is going on. Like I said, I just have a full work day. But I'm gonna take y'all with me, so I hope you enjoy coming along. Are you zoomed in enough? Not enough? Okay, we're in focus. So, like I said, here's the liquid lipstick here. And it just comes with a little doe foot applicator here. Doesn't smell like anything, as far as I can tell, so. That's good or bad, depending on your preferences. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. Let's see how it goes. Wow! <laughs> Holy crap. So this was just with one dip into the applicator. I personally want it to be a little bit more opaque. It's pretty much opaque, but there's just a couple spots where I want to touch it up. So I'm just going to go in for one more dip here. So there it is a little bit closer up on the lips. It really does seem to be a matte finish. It feels like a matte finish. It feels very dry, but you know, we'll see how that goes throughout the day. I am curious to see if it does the same with transferring as the Sephora lip cream. Nope. That's kind of exciting. It just makes me want to kiss everything, especially Galileo. I hate wearing bright lips and basically any lipstick at all because I can't kiss Galileo. But with this, I'm not afraid. He might be though. Like I said, I'm going to be taking y'all with me, so I will just check in with you all in a little bit, probably on my lunch break. So I will see you then. Bye! <laughs> I'm being teased. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this with an audience. It's so weird. It's 3.05 p.m. Checking in on the lipstick. This one, so far, I can already tell you it's not as good as the Sephora one. Do you want to be in my video? <laughs> no, I just want to interrupt you. Oh, okay. Basically, you can see, I already had a coworker tell me that it went onto my, my chin when I was eating, so that's nice. But I got it, right? It's gone? Yes. You're just a little pink. Yeah, because I rubbed it. And you, she's white. 
Alright, so there it is, reapplied over itself. I will check in with you all when I get home later tonight. So I finished my burrito from lunch. Not that I showed you at lunch, but I had half of a burrito from Chipotle and it was delightful. I may have had a few cookies because it's Christmas Eve. <laughs> I also had one very large drink. Oh my goodness. As you can see, bad lipstick. How dare you? See that? That's lipstick. Uh, remember when I told you my coworkers said that that happened? Yeah. That's not good, Kat Von D. That's not good at all. Mm -mm. I'm not a fan, Kat Von D. I also took a shot of this lipstick before I ate that burrito just to kind of see how it was doing after, like, what? I think it was like four or five hours at that point. It was looking really cakey and built up and not cute. Just look at my lips. They're so dry. They're so sad. They want lip balm real bad. Lip liner lips. Definitely cakey and flaky up top. It's not a good combo. The only thing that should be cakey and flaky is a coconut cake, which I would totally eat right now, but honestly I'm drunk enough where I would eat anything. Except for maybe a fetus. Overall, verdict's out. The Kat Von D, at least this shade, compared to the Sephora Matte Lip Cream, the shade that I tried out. This one's more expensive, and it works not at all as good. My lips all day were feeling so dry and so chapped, and like I wanted so badly to put on some sort of a lip balm. Overall, I'm just not happy. I will probably never wear this lipstick again. It's too high maintenance for me, especially when there are so many other good options out there. I think I covered just about everything though. It lasts fine so long as you're not doing anything with your lips, I guess. It's really lightweight to the point where you can't feel it. It does not keep your lips hydrated or moisturized. It does not taste or smell like anything. It was really pigmented. I much prefer the Sephora Matte Lip Cream. Unfortunately, the Kat Von D ones come with a better shade selection, but the performance just isn't there as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, is there anything else? I'm gonna go to bed. Merry Christmas to anyone who celebrates it. Happy holidays to the rest of you. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. I hope this review was helpful. Like I said, I know all of you, well I shouldn't say all of you, but many of you on Instagram were very curious about my thoughts on this lip product and now you know, I do suppose. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you enjoyed the review and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye! Oh and P.S. Don't drink if you're underage. It's bad end up like this. <laughs> I mean me. But don't do it until you're 21 or 18 or whatever it is in your country. It's okay. I went to a club, right? And um, they had no baggy pants and no sneakers. I was
wow, I didn't know what to think about that. Didn't know what to think about that. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Oop, yep, that's my boy.